Hey guys, welcome to Technability. Hope you're having a safe and happy weekend. All right, so what we have here today is a Galaxy Note 2 and a Galaxy S4, both running CM 10.1, 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and just get started real quick with a software or with a hardware uh, spec rundown. You've got a quad core Snapdragon 600. You've got a quad core on this beast as well. Both two gigabytes of RAM, external battery or removable battery, uh, inter external micro SD card slot so you can add or remove memory as you so wish and basically both really gorgeous displays. 1080p, uh, a little bit less than a 720p on this, but no less, they're both Super AMOLED, beautiful color saturation, vibrant. I mean, you could look at these screens right here when I zoom in, and you can see how blue the blues look, almost like you're literally at an ocean. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with the lock screens. Obviously, you could see both uh, very similar in that regard because they're, they're running the same software. Swipe over, you get the uh, widgets. Swipe this way, you get the camera. And then, of course, you got the shortcuts that you can set up as you so please. Um, you can see there's a browser, dialer, music, messaging, and unlock. And it's the same on the Note 2. So we're going to go ahead and unlock this here real quick. All right, first thing we're going to look at is the camera. Okay, let's just get that out of the way now. All right, so basically we're taking a look here at both of the respective cameras on these devices. Uh, this is an 8 megapixel. This is a 13 megapixel. You can see both of them are really good in their quality. Let's go ahead and take a quick picture here. You got burst shot on this, by the way, so that's why it acts that way. But in any case, both are really solid cameras. Now, if I go to the gallery here, you can see the gallery. Okay, let's go to download and check out this woman right here. All right, let's go ahead and click on the Windows phone. Okay, you can see the quality on both, really good. The pinch zoom, responsive on both. If I pinch in on both, I could swipe down and delete them as I so wish. If I want to exit out, do as such. You can see the S4 is just slightly a bit faster because, again, it's got a Snapdragon 600 processor, so that's to be expected. Uh, notification bar, obviously, we already showed you guys the quick settings. Uh, you can see the quick settings are customizable. You could change these, remove them, add them as you so please. Uh, you can see the regular notification with notifications that you can actually swipe away as you so please as well. All right, let's check out the multitasking on both. Okay, or you could just push this button here, removes them all. Go to the settings. They're exactly the same. So you got launcher settings, right? Home screen launcher settings. Okay, you got lock screen settings, themes, which you could download from the Play Store for free. You got system settings, quick settings panel, notification drawer, power widget, uh, hardware keys if you had hardware keys, and all sorts of really cool features. And also, of course, you have developer options because it's CM 10.1. It's a custom ROM, so you're going to have developer options. So let's go ahead and exit out of here as well. Let's just go ahead and run some tests here in terms of speed. So we're going to go ahead and open the Play Store. Wow, that was about equal. Well, actually, no. The S4 loaded it up a little bit faster, and they're both on the same network. Exit out. Okay, again, the S4 was slightly a bit faster. All right, let's do the same here with the browser. Okay, and let's go ahead and load up the same website here and just see which one opens up a hair quicker, right? what you guys want to know. Which one is faster? They're both running CM10, guys, remember. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to technability.com on both. Okay, so they're on. They're off to the races. Alright, the Note 2 looks like it's leading at this point. Rendering the site. The S4 is lagging behind just a little bit. Looks like it's catching up. Uh-oh, it's... No, looks like the Note 2 is going to win this. All right, while it's loading, let's see scrolling. Okay, you can see scrolling on both. Okay, if we zoom in, yeah, it looks like the Note 2 won that. Scroll, no checkerboarding on any of these, or either of these devices. All right, so let's go ahead and zoom in and open a link here. Yeah, see the S4 opened the link slightly faster, but it's loading the Note 2 actually finished loading a little bit faster. So again, zooming, pinch zoom is pretty fast and quick on both. It feels a little bit more natural on the S4, I will give it that. All right, exiting out. All right, so let's go ahead and look at the tabs actually on the browser. All right, there are the tabs. Swipe away, swipe away. You can swipe away the tabs as you so please. Uh, if we go to the next screen, you can see uh, the folders. You can do that by just taking an icon, putting it in the other. If I want to take, um, let's say, the widget, put it down here. It actually moves around the icons for me. You could resize the widget. And just in terms of overall speed, guys, let me show you guys something here. 
All right, because that's basically what we want to emphasize. Look how fast these are. Look at these things. Look how quick it opens and closes out of apps. I mean, that's just ridiculous fast, right? I mean, how often do you see phones functioning this fast? And then if I just do this, I can push these two buttons, and they're all gone. So really quick, if we just go ahead and look at, um, what did I want to show, showcase here with you guys? Oh, I wanted to go ahead and look at the Play Store here real quick, show you guys something here. So let's say I search for an app, right? Okay, so let's say I search for theme, theme, alright, so let's say uh, this theme, this theme right here. You see here it has a three dot menu, and on the S4 it doesn't. So you're going to deal with that with some specific phones. Alright, so with the S4 you're going to actually have to use the menu button here. All right, with the Note 2, you actually do have the three dots. So just keep that in mind that some phones are not, or not all CM10s are created equal, guys. All right, so keep that in mind. Other than that, everything else is pretty much the same uh, in terms of the speed. You can see how fast both are. The S4 slightly a little bit faster. And that's basically all I wanted to show you guys. I didn't want to get too in-depth with third-party apps, but we will be doing a separate video for that very soon. Thank you guys for watching Technability. Again, don't forget to subscribe. Check out www.technability.com. Otherwise, have a safe weekend.